Oh, wow. They shut off the notorious machine, or the Enigma machine. Brandon Pez driving that machine this weekend. That's the boss's car. Keith Haney, the owner of this Schweitzer Dynamics top secret Enigma car. Keith Haney racing over here in the Crower Lane. Taking on Taylor Lasseter in the Corvette. Another beautiful C7 Corvette in the Grand Prix Lane. Oh, man, I'm just, wow. Well, and the Enigma car has everything it takes to roll in there and knock Ferris right off his high horse. Absolutely, definitely. Uh, he's got the pressure on him. But uh, this is the first time we've seen this car out today. So does Brandon, does he, uh, he saw, well, he said Ferris had a 379 right in front of him. Does he go out there and try to beat that? Or is that, you know what, our setup may be a little different. Uh, we'll just go out there and try to do our own thing. And if we do it, we do it. If we don't, then, hey. We got another round of qualifying later on tonight. Well, Keith Haney's my boss right here at Tulsa Raceway Park. Uh -huh. He owns that car. I know he's not about that BS. He oh, goes no. out swinging. He's got the little man complex. He's not going to take this setting down. Oh, no. He wants his car to be number one. They're not going to – ah, they, they don't play that game. They go headhunt. It's checkers or wreckers for the Keith Haney racing team. So are we going to get to see the – the record slayed right now. We very well could. And also, not only that, that first pair, that was the quickest and fastest side-by-side -side radio versus the world pair in Tulsa Raceway Park history. So, I'm speechless. We got more of this later on the night. Yeah, that was just the first hit at the track. Oh, yeah. Brandon Pez looking down the 660-foot. The last time he drove this car here, he did his Tony Hawk's pro skater move down the I wall. I remember that You've one. You've seen it on the internet. Everybody tried to hang that on Keith. No, sir. This car is a bad machine. 12, 22 million wow. views of Pez going for his ride. Let's watch him set the record right here. Neat looking for a 78. Six one twenty eight. The sixty foot time was there at one oh three nine. But then you heard the RPMs go up, come back down, and well, Brandon uh, pedaled it. Thought about getting back out, so you know, now nah, better save it for the next round. Yep, this was the first hit. He was smart. He's a veteran race car driver. He's mm -hmm. like, I'm not going to run it the first hit. Schweitzer Dynamics Enigma Top Secret being driven by Brandon Pez. Out of the Woodlands, Texas. And again, Brandon did not have the run he would have liked in that first qualifying session. Only 456. But here again, the track's there. It's the track owner's car. He's like, go big or go home, send it. Honestly, I was. What would you say about me? About six, seven years ago, 456 would have been number one qualifier. I yeah, mean, and and now you've got limited drag radio cars running that, and X35 car, cars yeah. running that fast. So, Brandon Pez is definitely a little bit behind the eight ball here, as he as he saw Dwayne Mills go to 389. He saw Daniel Ferris have was on a run until he, he, the car was like he started to move out of the groove. And uh, Daniel Ferris did a smart thing and brought his right foot up and, and shut the car off. So Brandon Pez, I would, I would say here he's probably at least looking for maybe a 4-0. Maybe a, four, a, a teen, baby. I feel like you got to do a 4-0. you got to run a 4-0 just to feel good about yourself right now. Oh, I mean, oh, like, yeah. it's, there may be a, only, what, five cars in the class, six cars in the class, but you need to know what you're capable of right now nine o'clock at night because tomorrow night this could be elimination it, it, it def, it def, you're definitely right about that so and always got taylor lasker back there who did not even get to make a run in that first session had problems on the burnout but brandon pez left hand side the crower side of the racetrack persian and nitrous the texan larry jeffers race cars on the wing back there they put this hot rod together a few times and it comes back stronger every time. Pez easing it into the beams. He's pre-staged. Here we go. We're all in. And it's 394, 191 miles per hour. Brandon Pez is back. He goes to number four. But how about that? Your top 
four, only separated by just over a tenth of a second. So here we go, Brandon Paz. And Dwayne Mills. Dwayne Mills has got pro-line power under the hood of that race car. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we want to thank them. You know, they come on board, step up, big sponsor oh, of the yeah. event. Half the turbocharged cars on this property have got pro-line power. But, you know, Brandon Pez over there driving yeah. the Enigma. That's Keith Haney's car. They've made one pass all weekend, 394, put them in the number five spot. Mm -hmm. But uh, had trouble earlier today, Q3. Yeah. Shut it off, but hey, last chance qualifier, they're in the field, it doesn't matter. Uh, it turned out to be a sensor. Just talked to Todd Martin. He said he talked to Brandon and they uh, it, it lost oil pressure, so he shut it off because he didn't know if it was a sensor or if it was for real. Turned out it was a sensor and we're back ready to go racing. But definitely smart, smart move by Brandon Paz. That's something you never want to chance that. So uh, Hannah's Frozen Nitro, they have brisket, they got pulled pork, Polish sandwiches, quesadillas, taco salad, nachos, taco burgers, frozen slushies. They're open all day. Oh, and they actually uh, got me the quesadillas. Remember, uh, remember, mine got eaten last night before it got to me. That was by Cliffy. Cliffy ate mine last night. But here we go. Brandon Pez, Crower side. Dwayne Mills, Grand Prix side. They're pre-staged. Pez is in. Waiting on Mills. Mills is in. Here we go. Side by side. Mills is Bracket car, Dwayne Mills. All four of his runs have been within 16 thousandths of a second of each other. As here comes Brandon Paz. How about that? We was just talking about Keith Haney and the Enigma car. Now here's the interesting thing about uh, Brandon Paz. Right now. He does not have lane choice round one where he has to take on Dwayne Mills. Yeah. So if he, he has to go a 388 with a nine or quicker to get lane choice. <laughs> man, oh man. I tell you, Brandon and uh, Cody and the, and the whole crew have done great this weekend. They've just, you know, came out here, made good solid runs all weekend, just A to B, straight as an arrow. 394, 191 miles an hour, not trying to do nothing, just trying to get some data, trying to go down the track. They're in the field solid, and uh, Brandon, heck of a driver. That he is. He's, like, you know, he's driven over the Pro Extreme side of things. He definitely knows this racetrack. First in that nitrous oxide system. So again, 394 is low ET of the weekend thus far. I'd like to see him go that 88 you talked about, though. That'd be awesome. too. <laughs> What's Keith been? 83? Exactly. Yeah, you'd have to. <laughs> that four foot two before is on the pedals. <laughs> Had to undo so Brandon could fit in there. Here we go. The crew brings him up. The Enigma. <laughs> I know Keith's watching the live feed and y'all trying to get me fired. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Can Brandon Paz go to the 380? Black guy saw one of each shot. 193, not quite, but uh, it was right there. It went in the four O's, and he will have Dwayne Mills round number one this evening. Mills, oh, 
This is like a final round caliber matchup in round number one. So, man, this, this is where it's at right now. Brandon Pez driving Keith Haney's car. Dwayne Mills driving the, driving the Golden Gorilla. Like, if this is like a final round caliber matchup in round number one. How many fans out there want to see the Chevrolet, the nitrous car, take down the turbo? Who wants to see the Golden Gorilla, Dwayne Mills, Big Daddy? So, take this one. So here we go. So here we are. Dwayne Mills and Brandon Pez. Brandon Pez already in full stage. Dwayne Mills building the boost. Here we go. Dwayne Mills left on it. We're side by side, and wow. So Brandon Pez moves on to round number two. So we're about to bring the engines to life. And here we are. Brandon Pez. 394 is what he ran qualifying. And remember, Daniel Ferris had a bye run. Last round is I need limited 275 final. Need to the lanes, please. Limited 275. And limited 235. Need to move to the lanes, please. So here we are, battle of late model Chevrolets. Can Brandon Paz pull off the colossal upset? We're about to find out, semi-final round of radial versus the world. So here we go.
So again, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you, please uh, remain where you're at. But I can tell you, uh, he is out of the race car. Brandon Pez is uh, down there as well as uh, we're looking at it on replay. That was wow. So again, the driver's out of the car. He is okay. But I tell you, but Brandon Paz looked like he was going for a, for a wild ride. Then Ferris just came up, up, up. But man, and when he came down, it was like he came down right on the block at the finish line. So... So, uh, wow. And I promise you that, but the good thing is uh, he is out of the car. He is okay.